Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. We got a line honey badger for you today, and this ski is just a whole lot of fun for a wide range of skiers who are putting an emphasis on park, pipe, natural features, and all mountain skiing. So a lot of versatility and a big range in this ski. Uh, it's very popular and with good reason. Line does a great job at just incorporating uh, you know, fun into their skis and they're very creative in how they do it. Um, this ski does uh, feature an Aspen veneer wood core. So nice blend of lightweight uh, durability and energy to it. Uh, then they use like four different directions of fiberglass in their laminates. So, you know, they have that horizontal laminate and then three different ways of weaving those fiberglass uh, layers and stringers into the ski in this cap style format. So, uh, you know, as opposed to a vertical sidewall, a sandwich style construction, uh, line relies on a cap build in this honey badger. And that does a couple things. One is it increases the durability of the ski. You know, a lot of people are using these uh, in a terrain park format. So durability is really important. That's why they use their fatty edge in this as well, the 2.5 instead of a 2.2. So there's a thicker edge uh, to go along with this cap build. And then the other thing is that the cap makes the ski a very cohesive unit. So it just feels very consistent from tip to tail. Uh, and that's a very good thing when you're dealing with, um, you know, park and pipe applications. Uh, it's a symmetrical ski in terms of profile. Uh, there's only a four millimeter drop between uh, tip and tail, 120 to 116 with a 92 millimeter waist. So almost symmetrical. It's basically like a gateway ski to a Tom Wallace Pro. Uh, and that's a great way to kind of think about it, especially with the availability of sizes. This thing goes from a 144 to a 177. So you're getting that tweener skier as well as, you know, an adult who's looking for something playful and fun. Uh, it is on the, on the more flexible side. Uh, that's kind of what we see with the Tom Wallish or the blend or something like that from line where we get this just uh, in, insane amount of flex, which, you know, allows for a good amount of creativity out there on the hill. Uh, this is the 172. That's 1,643 grams, so pretty light, but also when you're talking about the durability, you know, that kind of counteracts that a little bit and makes this thing stand out. Uh, nice positive camber underfoot. Again, pretty symmet uh, very symmetrical uh, uh, rocker there and splay. So that's gonna emphasize that park performance. Um, you know, not a ton of rocker. This is more traditional in terms of uh, twin tip profiling. Um, you know, decent splay, not a ton of taper, just a little bit of an early bend there. And then no real reason to show the tail as it's the same as the tip, but there it is. It's, you know, very similar. Uh, and that just gives that forward and backwards uh, style um, more emphasis in this ski. Uh, but pretty cool thing, you know, with the cap, you know, with the, that four directions of fiberglass in the laminate. Uh, the symmetrical rocker profile, and then the near symmetry in terms of shape, just giving it a slightly more directional, uh, you know, versus totally symmetrical personality, but overall, uh, you know, very much the same to, from front to back in this ski. And make sure you check out this line, Honey Badger, here at SkiEssentials.com, and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye!